I've finished the chasing part of this design now, so I'm going to take it off the block and I'm going to use a mallet to sort of flatten it out. And then I'm going to take this small ruler and I have to draw the inner star here. So uh, I'm going to pull this over here and set my ruler here so I can scratch in the inner star. And these are all little parallel lines here. Now when I cut the inner star out, I'm going to have to leave some area right in the corner so the star actually stays in place. So this draws my two overlapping triangles here. Okay, now the piercing part starts first with a nail punch and I'm going to put one little punch in each of the areas where I'm going to saw a hole. So I'll just put this here in the center and this will be a place where I start a drill. And I'm going to also take out the little triangles here on the other side of this bar to reveal the inner star. So I have to put a little drill hole there as well. Okay, and you can see all the little holes, you know, all of the little uh, pit marks there. So now I'll set up the uh, flexible shaft with a drill bit. And put this block away. And I have a little piece of wood. is the one that's one for about uh, an 18 gauge hole there Okay, 
So there we are, all drilled and ready for sawing. Okay, now we're uh, ready to do some piercing. I've got, uh, I'm here at my uh, bench pin and I've got my jeweler's saw. I'm going to get out some 3-0 blades. Just get one here. And I'll put this into the saw. I want to make sure that it cuts on the downstroke. So I'll put this into the top here and tighten that. And then I will thread through one of my holes the spatula onto the saw blade. And I'm putting pressure on the harp to put some tension on the blade. The blade should ping, you know, like that a little bit so that we know that it's tense enough. Now I'll set the spatula flat onto the surface here and I'll just begin sawing toward one of the edges here. It's important to keep your saw vertical and support both sides of the metal so that you're actually sawing in this groove. And I'll saw up here. Now I've sawn into this little corner and I want to bring the saw around. So in order to bring the saw around, I'll let it come back just a little bit and keep it moving so that it widens the saw hole and then supporting it again begin sawing the next side. And you'll notice how I'm turning the, the piece of metal while I'm sawing trying to keep the saw virtually in the same place uh, as a part of control. I'm also twisting the frame a little bit to keep the saw cut going where it should go. I can't turn this around here because I've got the handle in the way, so I'm going to go back the other way now. And then again, turning it while the saw is moving. And I'm gonna have to get down here another way here. So, okay, now, just turn the saw around here. I'm going to bring it in backwards at this point and turn it so that I can begin to saw the bottom of the triangle. And there's the first piece almost out. I'll just take out this remaining little triangle here. Okay, now you'll notice that I've cut just inside my chasing lines. And that's because I want to finish the hole off with a file uh, to give it its final shape.
So I'll undo the saw and I'll put this in and I'll start to do the do another hole. Now this is one of the ones from the inside for the inner star. And again I'm going to put pressure on the on the saw by using the pressing the handle with my stomach. And that tightens the blade so that I can begin sawing again. So I'm going to saw up to my little shiny line and saw just on the left side of it so that I stay within the open area. Moving, I'll pull the saw back, keep it moving, turn it, so that I can get toward this long side of it, and cut this one just inside the chasing line. I'm going to pull this back this time because I have to go all the way around here. And go down into the little point. And I'm going to turn this. right into that corner there. And turn and then I have my little triangle cut out there. So now I'll just mark work my way around the star, undo the blade. I'd like to undo the bottom one. And then we'll put this through another hole and work our way around the star. And here we go again. this way. It's always interesting trying to cut these things with uh, a handle on them. And there it is, it's out. So that's yet another hole.
I'll continue with this and then we'll finish it up.